Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video and today we are going to talk about the Resistance um, event going on for Call of Duty World War II and is it a scam, is it BS, you know, I want to talk about that and it's important to know that when I view video game content, if it is a loot box, it's random and you can buy it, if it's those three things, random loot box that you can buy, it is BS regardless of what it is. So right off the bat, you know, we're, we're going to move that out of the way. Resistance is an event going on between the end of January and the end of February for Call of Duty World War II where there's some new equipment, you know, they're kind of celebrating it. The new cl There's a new division, they give you new class. And, you know, you get resistance packs which give you items from the resistance, you know, the resistance stuff like emblems and weapon variants and all that and they're doing this the exact same as if you remember winter siege where you get a resistance pack or a winter siege pack but it only gives you one item and it's common up to heroic so i mean it's kind of annoying like that because you know most people when they do an event like this even if the loot boxes usually have one item in it they still give you all the event items so it kind of feels like they're just jipping you out of money i mean my friend bought 25 of these packs and between the new items right the new resistance items he got two pistol grips and a crappy uniform so you know i just the loot boxes in this game are 100 percent definitely rigged i mean the other day i opened um five resistance packs I got a calling card, and then the next two resistance packs were duplicates of that same exact calling card. And there's more than one calling card in this thing. It's just really annoying. What I do actually like about um, the events in this game is the contracts give you a bunch of supply drops instead of um, armory credits. Generally speaking, in my opinion, I think if you get duplicates... You get more armory credits sometimes, other times you don't. But I don't like just getting XP for my contracts. I really don't. I, I prefer getting the supply drops for the new armory credits. What I really don't like about this event, though, is the fact that you can't buy this stuff in the collections after the event is over. Same with Winter Siege. And they put this time limit on it, so you just... you got to buy stuff, okay? My friend Devin in Winter Siege, right? He got ev basically every single winter supply, everything, right? Every supply pack the game offered. He still did not get every item. It's insane. Now, obviously, if you can tell, if you compare the amount of items in Resistance to Winter Siege, the Resistance has less items, I think because they take into account people working. I mean, they give you the division for free, and the new items, you know, you can grind out games to unlock the new items. So, personally, I think they're kind of putting in the ability, right, to unlock the new weapons via in-game stuff. I think they're putting that in because people are tired of pay to win. But at the same time, it still kind of hides the fact that when you select one of those new weapons, the game doesn't show you the original version of the new weapon. It shows you... The variant that you can buy in collections with the money that you can get from supply drops. Now, is this event less scummy and scammy than Winter Siege? Yeah. Winter Siege, everyone remembers the Sten variant. Very overpriced. You know, I think there was one other very overpriced one. This one is not a lot more content. I mean, it is a lot of content, but... In terms of game-altering stuff, they definitely added more cosmetics than guns. I mean, they are kind of running out... I think they are running out of guns that, you know, I guess could do stuff. But these guns are... These guns, compared to the new guns, are pay-to-win for sure. The Volksham Gavar, um, the Orso... Even, even the 9mm that you can get from Prestiging Resistance, which the 9mm makes sense. Alright, this is something no one, I think, has pointed out. All the weapons you get from prestiging your divisions are pretty powerful compared to the rest. So the 9mm makes sense because you can prestige the resistance division. But, like, 
the Volkstrom Gavar, laser beam. The Orso, laser beam. Right? Like, what the heck? They're laser beams, and you can buy them, right? They're pay to win until they decide to nerf them. Overall, I think that Activision is seeing a bunch of games get flack for having supply drops in them and random loot boxes, and they keep trying to tone it down so that they don't get called out for this stuff. And I think they do need to get called out for putting loot boxes in our Call of Duty. And I, I told my friend Devin this. My friend Devin and I love Call of Duty. We love to play Call of Duty. We love to play it together. Um, I said I'm not buying the next one because I'm tired of opening loot boxes. This has been going on since Advanced Warfare. Actually, putting guns in DLC has been going on since Black Ops 2. So arguably, like, eight years. Ar somewhere like eight, seven years, something like that. Something like that. You know, maybe less, definitely less, yeah. I don't even know. I don't care, like, five years, six years, okay? But still, it's it's dumb practices. Yeah, it is six years because 2012. <laughs> uh, it's dumb practices that just ruin the game for me. I open these supply drops, and I have a good time, and then I get to the supply drops, and I just, I'm just opening them. I'm like, oh, got to open this shit, spam A. Oh, I got something good, whoop de doo you know? I'm, do I'm done with the supply jobs, so that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new. I want to know what you hear about, or I want to hear what you think or know about this uh, resistance stuff, and tell me what you think. You know, do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you like supply drops? You know, I know there's people that like the random stuff, and it's all right. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Streamer Vlog, whatever I decide to make.